This was me almost every day after school. Six weeks later, this is me having reduced my screen time by 85%. But to understand why I did this, we need to go back to the beginning. It's 8 p.m. and I haven't done any homework yet. You see, I spent around six hours on my phone every day. That's 42 hours a week, or almost three months a year wasted on my phone. Something needed to change. Here is the plan. For the next six weeks, I would decrease my screen time by one hour a week until I was at one hour. Then, for the remaining two weeks, I would keep my screen time under one hour every day. And to make it harder on myself, if I missed a day, I would have to restart the challenge from the beginning, but half all the time of the original challenge. <laughs> You may be wondering what my ultimate goal is right now. I mean, sure, I wanted to decrease my screen time, but why? Usually what I do when I work out is I watch some sort of video on my phone, and since I have so much screen time left over, I'm probably just gonna watch some sort of video while I run, because right now I haven't even gotten to an hour yet. You see, recently I realized that my life was a mess. My room was messy, my time management was non-existent, my sleep schedule was in a completely different time zone, my screen time was through the roof, and I was super stressed all the time. I got literally nothing done and was basically digging my own grave with how unhealthy my lifestyle was. So this year, I set my goal to get my life back together. And to do that, I have to start with my screen time. Okay, so it's 3.40 and my screen time is now up to two hours and 20 minutes, which is almost halfway through the amount of time I have. I still have like nine hours with like three hours of screen time. So I need to stop being on my phone. So it's now 11.10, there's 50 minutes left until tomorrow, and in 50 minutes I'm not going to reach 5 hours. I spent so much time on my computer watching videos instead of on my phone watching videos. It equally wastes my time as my phone. In the future, I'm going to have to try to limit my computer time too. My screen time ended up being 3 hours and 33 minutes. After smoothly sailing through the first week, it was now time for the second one. Week two was pretty much a breeze. Staying under four hours was easy because I've been staying under four hours most days during week one anyway. Two hours and 41 minutes. The power just went out. Usually, it's pretty easy to stick to a goal for a few days, and the past few weeks have proven pretty easy. But as week three came around, I began to get nervous. These weeks were a test to see if I could follow through with my goal. If I failed to stay below my screen time limit these weeks, I would lose all my progress and suffer a penalty. It's now 10 p.m. and I still only have a little bit over one hour on my phone. Throughout weeks three to four, I realized that I picked up my phone a lot less than usual. I had to power off my phone. I'm already at an hour and 53 minutes. When I put it down and turned it off, I usually wouldn't pick it back up again. And now my screen time is at 41 minutes. My screen time right now is one hour that I can technically go on my phone for the rest of today and I won't go over my screen time. I'm gonna try not to because next week I only have one hour of screen time, which is really scary. So it's week five of this challenge, which means that my screen time this week is limited to one hour max. And right now my screen time is at 26 minutes. When I started this challenge, I honestly thought it would be so difficult because coming from like one month ago, my screen time was at like eight hours every day. But like every week I've been kind of like anticipating using it less. So I've been just like using it less. During the beginning, my computer would kind of just replace my phone. Like I'd bring my laptop with me literally everywhere I went. The only difference of my screen time usage was on the bus where instead of using my phone, I would just like listen to music or something but i recently got a monitor which means i can't just use my computer as my phone i feel like these two weeks i'm gonna really have to learn how to not use my phone or not be on a device everywhere and kind of live more in the present so far i've been doing pretty well actually right now i only have like 22 minutes on my phone i haven't really been updating too much just because i've been successfully completing this challenge i feel like my days have been going so much better like usually when i walked home from school i'd be on my phone the whole time but now i'm not on my phone i'm kind of going to live in the moment mm -hmm. 10 20 right now and i'm about to go shower and this might sound crazy but i think right now is the earliest time i've showered in like over a year at the screen time check yesterday i was at 38 minutes right now it's like 12 a.m february 12th which means that my screen time challenge is officially over yesterday i had 22 minutes of screen time so i managed to stay under one hour for two weeks and I successfully completed the challenge so I don't have to restart or anything. I'm so glad to be able to use my phone again, like for however long I want. I'm really hoping I'm not gonna go back to the thing where I did like 10 hours a day. I feel like I've gotten used to not using my phone so much. In the end, I successfully completed the challenge. Would I do it again? No. Towards the end, the one hour screen time limit began to become an unnecessary stress. However, I noticed a lot of benefits from doing this challenge, so I would totally recommend you do it yourself too.